Hey guys, it's me Izzy and welcome back to another video on Izzy Kate. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you get a notification from me every time I post a new video. That's pretty much it for the basics. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do my competition makeup look routine and my competition hair routine. So I hope you guys are excited. Um, I just figured today that I would sit down and actually show you guys in depth what my makeup tutorial is and how I do my hair. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first thing that I do to get ready is obviously Starbucks because I am slightly superstitious and I believe that if I don't have Starbucks the day I compete, I won't do well. It's just kind of me being weird anyway. So I got Starbucks and then I also have to do my eye patches. Also, it's kind of another superstition that I have to do my eye patches. Um, because I almost forgot like this morning I did my skincare and usually I do them before my skincare but I forgot and then I was like I probably shouldn't do them while I have like already stuff on my face but I feel like I have to so I'm gonna show you guys what products I use for my hair and then um I'll do my hair obviously but if you want to get the perfect slick back and do your hair exactly like mine I'm gonna show you what products I use so first you're gonna need a smoothing brush this is gonna help you get more of a slicked back than just like a regular brush so I have this and then also I use my spray bottle so I just literally get like it all wet like I just spray it down so it's just easier to slick and then for gel I use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk and then you're gonna need a ton of bobby pins I get my bobby pins from Amazon hairnet also from Amazon I get black ones and then the best hairspray in the business if you want your hair to stay all day long literally this will make your hair stay for like 15 hours i swear it's the got to be glued and it's also not that expensive and this is like huge so it will last me forever like i've never even had to rebuy this so this is the best hairspray so usually for competition we have to have like a side part like all the way over here my part is just slightly off center i don't really have a middle part or a side part anymore it's just kind of slightly off centered but today is just solo so really it doesn't even matter where my part is because it's just me so i'm just gonna leave my part as is but usually i will move it over and align it with my eye all right so now that my hair is like perfectly parted and it's like super slicked i'm gonna do gel so i do this before i put it in the ponytail and honestly i just put a ton because you can never have too much gel and then after i do that i'm going to take my brush and put it in a ponytail so we usually do kind of like a mid bun not too low like on your neck but not too high so i try to get the ponytail like in the middle of the back of my head and um do it a little higher than you want the bun because my bun covers <laughs> most of my head because i have so much hair Right, so then I make sure the ponytail is perfect. There, I mean, look and make sure there's no bumps and I make sure it's perfectly centered because sometimes it can be off center. I do that and then I start the bun itself. So usually how I do it is I split down the middle and I spray it to get it super wet but I just twist it and I just pin all the way around. So then once I put a bunch of pins and the bun is like in, I put the hairnet and then add more pins to make sure that the hairnet isn't going to come out and it's just all locked into place. So then once I'm done putting all the pins in, this is what it looks like. Then once the bun itself is in, I spray it. I just try to get as much hairspray as possible because you can never have too much and I want it to stay. Okay, so now the scary light's on and I look a little scary, but it's time to start my makeup. I literally have two hours, so this is not gonna take me that long, but because I'm doing the video and explaining it, I wanna start it now. So the first thing that I do, obviously I did all my skincare and stuff, but the first thing I do for my makeup is my primer. So this is the best primer, especially for dance. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer, and I love this stuff. I think it makes 
my makeup stay and I do use like a little bit more than I would like on a regular day for competition just because I'm wearing more makeup and I want it to stay. Then next up after my primer I do my foundation. So this is the foundation I use. It's the Tarte Face Tape Foundation in the shade light medium beige and it's a little darker than my actual skin tone obviously you can tell my face is really pale and my self tan is bad and it doesn't match so i have to use a darker foundation and bronzer i've used like a ton of bronzer so i use this all over my face and then i blend it with a beauty blender and also a brush i kind of use both i honestly really like this foundation i just started using it this year for competition and have found that it is really good and it blends so nicely. And then after it's all blended, I go in with concealer because we need to do something about the eye bags. For my concealer, I use the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And I have been loving this concealer I actually used to use just like the regular um, shape tape but then when I restocked I switched to the ultra creamy and I'm literally obsessed with it there's something about it it literally just blends so nicely and matches really well so I just put it in places that I feel like I need to and then just blend it with a beauty blender So once that's blended, I move on to bronzer. So bronzer is like honestly one of the most important parts of my dance makeup, I feel like, because I just want to look tan and glowy on stage. So I use two bronzers. One trick that I've learned is that you should always use a cream product and then set it with a powder product. So that's why I use two different bronzers. So I do my Rare Beauty Contour Stick. This is in the shade Bright Side, so I put this wherever I need to contour my face. And then for my other bronzer, I use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I am not the best at contouring. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of wing it and hope that it looks okay. So then once I blended that in, then I use the powder. So then I just take this really fluffy brush and do that on my chin. So after that, this is what the bronzer is looking like. I feel like it looks pretty good. So then I move on to blush. So I'm going to be using my Patrick Ta blush. This is in the shade She's That Girl. And I just love this blush so much. It's so pretty. So I use the cream one with a beauty blender first. And then I'll do the powder one on top. All right, so then once I do the cream... I go on with the powder, which is a little bit more of a brighter pink. So then once I'm done with blush, I do my powder before highlight. So I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Powder. This is in the shade Natural Beige. And I love this powder. I use it every single day. It's honestly perfect because it doesn't look cakey, but it definitely does its job of keeping you not super oily. So I do this on my chin. And I kind of use a weird brush for it, but I don't know why. I just find that this brush works best. And then on my forehead, and then right like under my eyes and around my nose. And then I do my highlighter. So I use the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. And this is just my all-time favorite. I honestly love it so much. And another product that I use every single day. So I do this on my nose. And then once the highlighter has been applied, I take this Everyday Blending Brush again and I literally just blend it all together. The contour, blush, and highlight, so it all mixes together. All right, I took a little break and I went and ate some food because I dance at like 7.30 and 8.30, so I won't eat dinner before that. So, and I also got a little Ollie Pop. I'm gonna continue on with my eyebrows. So, usually, my everyday eyebrows, I don't fill them in, I just use brow gel, but for competitions I do just because I like to make them look a little darker. So first I brush them up like that and then I use this brow powder that I got from the place that I get my eyebrows waxed um, and it's just like 
a brown eyebrow powder and I just fill them in. Um, so I start like at the center and just fill in where I have like sparse areas. Then I use the e.l.f. brow lift um, just because this literally makes them stay so well. Um, so I just do that. All right, so now eyebrows are done and it's time to move on to my eyes. All right, so for my eyes, the first thing I do is use this primer. I've actually never tried this before. I was using a different one and I realized I've had it for way too long and I needed to get a new one. So I'm trying this one. It's the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, I honestly don't know if it's good, but um, I'm just going to put this on my eyelids. So one thing I did forget to do before my eyes is I set my face with my setting spray before my eyes and after. So I use the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is the matte one. And I just spray this all over and then I'll use it again to make sure it really lasts. So then for my eyes, I use this Morphe palette. Um, honestly, I have no idea what it's called, but this is what it looks like. Usually I use these dark browns in my crease and then I'll use this gold because we always do like this gold on our lids. But today I'm gonna change it up a little bit because it is my solos. And I'm not going to do the gold. I think I'm going to do this color on my lids, but still the brown. So I usually just use like this little makeup brush for my crease. And I just mix the two dark browns together and just do it on like the outside of my eye. So I usually just do it like pretty harsh in the corners and then I use this like bigger brush and blend it out just to make it go further towards the corner of my eye. And then usually I'll just move on to the other side, do that and then just go back and forth to make them even. So this is what it looks like. Obviously not super even, but I start with that and then I'm gonna do the color on my lid, which is just this sparkly color. Like I said, it's usually gold, but we're doing that today. And then I'm gonna blend it all together and finish it off. I'm gonna do a little bit of this like shimmery color on my brow bone and then finish blending and see where we're at. Then after I do that, I do my lashes, which is my least favorite part, but it needs to be done. So first things first is I curl my lashes and do some mascara just for a base and then I'll put my lashes on top of that. Uh, these are the lashes that I use. They're from Amazon. Honestly, they're literally like seven bucks from Amazon and they're ginormous. Like I'm aware that they're ginormous, but I like them like that. So this is the brand for Amazon. If you're wondering, I've used them for forever because they're cheap and I like them long and dramatic. And I just use this duo lash glue. I have absolutely no method or way of putting these on. I literally just put the glue on them and stick them on. I don't even use tweezers or anything. And sometimes it takes a few tries because sometimes they fall off and then I have to fix them. One is on. I'm not like fully opening my eye because I'm kind of still trying to let it dry. But I usually just press it down, try to make sure it's like as close to my lash line as possible. So they're both on. They're still drying. But this is overall what they look like. Um, but then for my bottom lashes, I use waterproof mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess. Cause I never know when I'm gonna cry. So I just do this on my bottom lashes. And then once I've done my bottom lashes, I do my inner corner sparkle. So I use the Shimmer Down Pigment and I just put the tiniest bit of this in my inner corners just to make my eyes pop. So then that's what my inner corners look like and that's pretty much it. And then once I've done all of that, I set it again with my setting spray that I'm running out of, but I spray this all over my face. And obviously lipstick, but I can't put that on now because I don't dance for another three hours. Um, so for my lipstick, I use the Kylie Lip Kit. Um, usually I use a different shade, but today I'm gonna be using this one because it's darker and I like it darker for my solos. So this is in the shade 
bite me so it's just like this really dark red so i'll be bringing that to put on but usually i use a more red color in the shade mary jo k so that's the lipstick that i use if you're wondering this is pretty much it for my finished makeup this is what it looks like i think it turned out pretty good today but i'll just add my lipstick when i get there and do any touch-ups that i have to do but overall i think this is pretty much it please let me know what other videos you guys want to see thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys